Yo, what's up with y'all boys and girls, man? Hey, Jay Briggs here from PickDogs.com, bringing y'all my NBA Jam session on December 19th, 2022, man. If you're looking for more of this great content, y'all know what to do. Smash that like button for your boy, man. Subscribe if you're new. Drop a y'all like down in the comments as well. As you know, I love going through seeing who y'all like in the comments. But if you're looking for my best bets, the best that I'm placing tonight as well as best bets from the top handicappers on the planet, check us out over at PickDogs.com. Click that premium pick step, and that's where you'll find best bets from the top handicappers in the world. Link to my $15 NBA Jam Session plays in the description. That is my best bet in the NBA every night, man. We did drop last night's play with the Denver Chicken Nuggets, man. Really frustrating one because, A, they were up big late in the fourth. B, Jamal Murray can't hit free throws. And C, I was so red hot in the NBA yesterday, and of course it just happened to be my best bet that shot me in the foot. Happens, though, man. We're on to today. Today's a new day. Um, let's make some money today, man. Like I said, link to my $15 NBA Jam Session plays in the description. I do love tonight's play, man. I think we do bounce back. We've hit 11 of our last 15. We try to go for 12 of 16 today, man. So scoop that up, 15 bucks. Link is in the description. Um, follow me on Twitter, Parlay Guy Jay. I can update y'all on any late information coming out of the association and if my mind changes due to that information, man. So follow me on Twitter for all that great stuff and um, a little more as well. But let's make some money tonight, man. Decent-sized card tonight in the NBA. It's kind of tricky if you ask me, but, you know, your boy going to help y'all maneuver through it. Let's make some money tonight. And without further ado, let's hop right into tonight's NBA action. All right, in our first matchup of the night, man, we got the Utah Jazz on the road facing the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cleveland laying 5.5, total 222. Uh, it's a tougher one for me, man. Y'all know how I feel about Cleveland at home. They go stupid dummy crazy at home. One of the best home cover teams in the NBA, man. They play their best basketball at home, and they just go crazy. And they're playing some good basketball right now. They've won four of their last five. Um, their only loss was a one-point loss on the road to San Antonio. Other than that, they've beaten OKC, Dallas, Indiana, and Dallas in that uh, span. I am kind of concerned because they did, in their last game, play Dallas pretty competitive without Luka Doncic. Um, every other time Luka has sat, the team has blown out the Mavericks, and the Mavericks had a real chance of winning that game. Kimball Walker had a throwback game in that one. And it's just a little concerning for me. I'm going to grab the points here with the Jazz. And I know the Jazz haven't been playing their best basketball. They've only won two of their last five. But I just think this game here is a little more competitive, man. I just do. Uh, I think this one could come down to the end, kind of like that Cleveland Mavs game. I do think Cleveland wins the game. But if you're going to give me five and a half with the Jazz, I'm going to take it here. In our next matchup, man, we got the Toronto Raptors on the road facing the Philadelphia 76ers. Philly home favorites lane seven, total 221 and a half. Y'all know where I'm going in this one. I'm laying that with uh with Philly, man. Toronto, number one spot, currently tied with the Miami Heat on the do not bet list. They are just terrible. And they've been terrible in their last five games, man. They lost five straight. They just got beat handedly last night by the Golden State Warriors without Steph Curry. Jordan Poole went absolute crazy in that one. Uh, that game was at home for the Raptors. Now they're on a back-to-back -back on the road. We're fading these guys. Like I said, they've lost five straight. The game before that, they lost to Brooklyn by three at home. In the game, they, you know, they should win at home. The game before that, they lost to Sacramento at home. Toronto's supposed to be one of the best home teams in the NBA, and they just lost three straight home games. Before that, they lost two games on the road to the Orlando Magic in back-to-back -back games, 113-109, 111-99. I'm not touching the Raptors with a 10-foot pole. We're going to go ahead and lay that with the Sixers who actually have been playing some really good basketball. The Sixers have won four of their last five. They won four straight. And they won all four pretty convincingly. They just beat Golden State on the 16th, 118-106. Beat Sacramento on the 13th, 123-103. Beat Charlotte, 131-113. And beat the Lakers, 133-122. So in all of those, they won their last four, they've won them by 11-plus. At home here today, um... I just think they go ahead and take care of this Raptors team. This will be their fifth straight home game for the Sixers. They've been playing some really great basketball at home. I think that continues. I'll lay the points here with Philly. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the Orlando Magic on the road facing the Atlanta Hawks. Atlanta home favorites laying 7.5, total 229. For me in this one, I'm taking the gift that keeps on giving. Give me the Orlando Magic plus the 7.5, man. Not fading them right now. They're playing some really great basketball. They've won, what, six straight? And, uh, you know, they're going to give me seven and a half? I'm going to take it, bro. Um, 
They like I said, their last five are really impressive. They just went on the road and played arguably the best team in the NBA thus far this season, the Boston Celtics, and beat them twice on the road. The first one, 117-109. The second one, 95-92 with the Boston Celtics. The game before that, man, they played the same Atlanta Hawks team. Granted, that one was in Orlando, but they beat them in that one, 135-124. And the two games prior to that, they played Toronto at home twice and beat them at home twice, 113-109 and 111-99. Magic playing some really good basketball, man. They're starting to hit that stride that I was trying to tell y'all about earlier in the season. I love Boncaro, man. He's been playing some really great basketball here recently. And the Hawks, the exact opposite can be said about them, man. They've been struggling here recently, man. They did get a home a road win in their last one against the Hornets, 125-106. But before that, man, they had been struggling, man. They had lost to that Orlando team, like I just told you, 135-124 on the road. They got beat handedly by Memphis, 128-103 on the road. They did beat Chicago in overtime at home. That was a close one. They should have lost that one. And before that, they lost to Brooklyn, 120-116. It's just tough for me to lay 7.5 with this Hawks team right now. Granted, I will say this, DeJounte Murray and John Collins are on the injury report as questionable. I'm not sure if they play or not. To be honest, I'm really that's a tough one. Uh, they've been out for a while, so I'm not sure. If they do play, this line's going to grow, and I still like the Magic. If they don't play, I still like the Magic right here. It's just that simple. I like the Magic regardless if they play or not, but I like the the second number better if when it grows if they're listed in. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the San Antonio Spurs on the road facing the Houston Rockets in the Wimbiana sweepstakes game. This game's got a lot of riding on it, man. <laughs> Uh, all jokes aside, man, these teams will play each other, what, four times this season? They've already played once, and that one, the Spurs won 118-109. That one was in San Antonio. I'm going to go ahead and lay it with the Rockets here in this one. I typically am not laying anything with the Rockets, and they're probably not favored above only, like, one other team, probably the Spurs. I don't even know if they'll be favored against Charlotte, to be honest, but, you know, who knows? Uh, it, it would depend where the game was at, I think. But, like I said, this one's in Houston. I'm going to go ahead and lay it here with Houston. I just think they're the better team, although they're both garbage, 9-20 and 20 on the season. Uh, Houston has won two of their last five. They did beat Phoenix and Milwaukee in this span, so that's why I kind of lean them. Those were both at home. This will also be their fifth straight home game. So, you know, they're just acclimated to being at home right now. This is definitely a winnable game, and I think they do win it. On the other side, the San Antonio Spurs. They won three of their last five. They just dropped back-to-back -back games, though, to Miami at home, 111-101, and to Portland at home, 128-112. But before that, they had beat Cleveland at home, beat Miami on the road, and like I said, they beat Houston on 12-8-22, 118-109. But, you know, I'm just going to take the Rockets. They're at home. I think they are they are the better team. I think they're playing the better basketball right now. And... Um, yeah, I'm just going to lay the points here with the Rockets. It's not my favorite game on the board, though. Both teams, in my mind, want to lose this game, so who knows. <laughs> in our next matchup of the night, man, we got the Dallas Mavericks on the road facing the Minnesota Timberwolves. Dallas laying 3.5, total 228. It's a tough one for me, man, if I'm going to be honest, because if we're looking at this injury report, I mean, I don't see how anybody could have a pick right now. I have to see what's, what's going on in this one. It's just too many moving parts. We'll go look at the injury report for the Timberwolves. It looks like Rudy Gobert is day-to-day. -day. But for the Mavs, man, it's really tough. We got Luka Doncic on here day-to-day. -day. We got Tim Hardaway Jr. on here day-to-day. -day. Dwight Powell day-to-day. -day. Berton's day-to-day. -day. Looks like Josh Green is out. So this is a tough one for me. The Timberwolves come into this one on a back-to-back after just dismantling the Bulls. But they've been terrible this season. Um, you know, they beat Oklahoma the game before they just dismantled the Bulls. On the road, 112, 110. But the games before that, they had been on a little losing streak. The Mavs, man, they just they kept it competitive against Cleveland in their last one without Luka, 199. They lost by one in overtime. They beat Portland handedly at home before that, 130, 110. This is just a tough one for me. I have to see uh, who's in, who's out. This is what I will say, though. If Luka plays, I'm on the Mavs. If Luka does not play, I'll update y'all on Twitter how I'm feeling. Um... Yeah, man, just a tough game for me, especially with all these injuries, man. The Mavs are one of the most dependent teams on their superstars than any other team in the NBA. Um, Luka plays. This team is a contender in the West. Luka doesn't play, man. They could be a G League team. <laughs> that's just how I feel, and that's my team, so I could talk about them like that. But 
you know, that's just how I feel right now. The Timberwolves, though, like I said, man, they're not just an automatic home take, even though they just dismantled the Bulls yesterday at home. They're way inconsistent. Um, both teams have been terrible against the spread this season. Dallas, 10-18-2. Minnesota, 12-18. and Tough one, man. I'll update you on Twitter as soon as I find anything. But right now, it's a link to the Mavs if my guy Luca is in. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the Milwaukee Bucks on the road facing the New Orleans Pelicans. Really good game tonight. I can't wait to watch this one. Milwaukee road favorites laying one, total 227. The disrespect, man. Give me the Pelicans at home where they've played their best basketball all season. Going to take them. I'm not afraid of the three-game losing streak they were on. Hell, that's a tough three-game road trip. Uh, Utah twice and Phoenix. Both of those teams play their best basketball at home. They go stupid dummy crazy at home, the Suns and the Jazz. So that was just a bad spot for the Pelicans. But you know who else goes stupid dummy crazy at home? The Pelicans. And that's where they find themselves here tonight against the uh, Milwaukee Bucks. Milwaukee has won three of their last five. Um, they're playing okay. They uh, beat the Jazz in the last one. No Giannis, and they still won that one handily, 123-97 against the Jazz. But you don't know the Jazz are terrible on the road. They're good at home, terrible on the road. Um, Memphis destroyed this Brooks team on the 15th, 142-101, in the most embarrassing loss this Bucks team has had in the last few years. And, um, yeah, man, so the Bucks, they've been playing okay. Nothing, nothing just too shocking from them. I don't like this spot for them. This will be their fourth road game in their last six games, and you're facing a tough Pelicans team who's, A, going to come in locked in and focused because they lost three straight games. B, they play their best basketball at home. C, they usually like to step up against good teams like the, the upper echelon teams, especially at home. I'm gonna let I'm gonna take the Pelicans on the money line. I definitely think they get a home win here in this one. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the Portland Trailblazers on the road facing the Oklahoma City Thunder Buddies, aka the Cover Buddies. Portland laying eight, total 226. I know the Thunder are the Cover Buddies, man, and we love taking them, especially getting eight. Ooh. I'm tempted. But I ain't going to do it, man. I'm going to take the Blazers. I'm going to lay the eight, man. And here's why. If the if the Thunder were healthy, man, I would be all over them in this game. But they're not. They're sitting damn near all the most important people. No giddy. No shy. No bet on the Thunder for me, man. Those are your two best scores, your two best players. They're not playing. I think they get annihilated at home. The Blazers have been playing some great basketball here recently as well. They've won four of their last five. And they won most of those pretty convincingly. They just beat Houston 107-95 on the road. They lost to Dallas 131-10. Uh, they beat San Antonio 128-112. They beat Minnesota 133-112. They beat Minnesota 124-118. Granted, this is their fourth straight road game, but I'm not afraid of it, man. Especially with the Thunder sitting their main guys. Thunder are basically saying we're in tank mode. They're trying to, uh, what are they, 12-18? Three games above uh, the Rockets and the Spurs. I mean, they're not out of it. but uh, And the NBA does a lottery, so they could end up with Wimbiana. Who knows? Uh, still a lot of basketball to go this season. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and lay this with the Blazers here. And this one, they're a much better team. They're playing really great basketball right now. Damian Lillard is on another level. I'm going to lay it here with the Blazers. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the Los Angeles Lakers on the road facing the Phoenix Suns. Phoenix home favorites laying nine and a half, total two thirty and a half. This is a tough one, honestly, because we already know that Anthony Davis is out. Street closed Anthony Davis. He's gonna miss about a month, you know. That really hampers this Lakers team. That puts a damper in their season. Anthony Davis cannot be trusted, bro. He always gonna get hurt. He always gonna be on the sideline in street clothes, since his nickname. Uh, but you know, on the other side, the Suns are kind of banged up too. As I'm looking at their injury report. Cam Johnson looks like he's out. Campaign, he's out. Aiden looks like he's day to day. Questionable for this game. Looks like Booker is also on here as questionable day to day. And then the Lakers are on a back to back, so there's a high chance LeBron James will sit. This is just a tough one, bro, because we don't know who's in or out at this current time. 
This is what I think, though. This is what I think happens. I'll update y'all on Twitter if, it, if what I said doesn't happen, happens. This is what I think happens. I think LeBron does sit. I think Devin Booker does play. I think this line grows to, like, Phoenix minus, like, 13. And in that case, I'm going to take the Lakers plus the points. That's just how I'm looking at it right now. Maybe it changes. I don't know. I just don't feel like laying this many points with the Suns right now. Granted, they have won back-to-back games. They just beat the Pelicans at home, 118-114. They got some revenge. Um, and they beat on the Clippers the game before that, 111-95. But the Clippers played nobody in that one. Uh, but before that, the Suns were just on that long losing streak. And I'm not just sure that they've just fixed things this fast. Um... Yeah, man, this is a really tough one for me. Follow me on Twitter. I can update y'all on this one. Me personally, I'm probably not going to be betting it, and if I do, it's going to be like minutes before tip just because I want the best information. So right now it's just a lean towards the Lakers plus the boatload of points when LeBron James gets listed out. But let's say LeBron does play. I like the Lakers plus the 9.5 at this line too. In our last and final matchup of the night, man, we got the Charlotte Hornets on the road facing the Sacramento Kings. Sac, home favorites, laying nine and a half, total 239 and a half. Man, y'all know I've been on Sacramento at home almost all season. I love them boys when they're home. But in this one, for me, it's just a lean. It's not anything that I just absolutely love. It's just a lean for me to lay the points here with the Kings. Here's why. The Kings are coming home off of a long road trip. They just played their last five games on the road. Granted, they did win three of those. They beat Cleveland, they beat Toronto, and they beat Detroit. They lost to Philly and New York. So they went three and five on their road trip, man. And I do think they beat up on the Charlotte team. Charlotte is on a back-to-back. They did get the cover last night, and I hated to see that because I was laying it with the Nuggets. The Nuggets, they should have done that, bro. They was up like 16 late in the fourth. Melted down. The Hornets got the cover. Uh, but the Hornets have been awful, man. They've lost, as I'm looking right here, they've lost the last five. They did cover last night, 119-115. The game before that, though, they got handled by Atlanta, who hasn't been handling anybody, 125-106. They got beat by Detroit, 141-134 in overtime. They got handled it on the road against Philly, 131-113. And New York came in there and beat them, 121-102. For me, the upper echelon teams have just been beating on this Charlotte team. I know Denver didn't do it last night, and I know I'm not overly in love with the spot for the Kings coming off of that long road trip, but I'll go ahead and lay it here. Like I said, the Hornets are on a back-to-back tonight, so I wouldn't even be shocked if LaMelo sat, um, just to be honest, because he's been so injury-prone. He might sit tonight. So give me the Kings on this one. I'll lay the points. Like I said, this is another team to go stupid, dummy, crazy at home. One of my favorite money-making teams, the Sacramento Kings. Think they're the play here in this matchup tonight and that's going to conclude tonight's nba jam session on december 19th 2022 man thank y'all for watching smash that like button for your boy man subscribe if you're new drop your like down in the comments as well as you know i love going through seeing y'all like in the comments but if you're looking for my best best the best that i'm placing tonight as well as the best best from the top handicappers on the planet check us out pig dogs premium that's where you'll find best best from the top handicappers on the planet link to my 15 dollars nba jam session plays in the description that is my best bet in the NBA every night. We did drop yesterday's play with the Denver Chicken Nuggets, man. They should have got it done. And that that one really frustrated me because I was red hot in the NBA last night. And, of course, my best bet is the one that kills me. Happens, though, man. We look to bounce back on that play tonight. We have hit 11 of our last 15. Um, so we're still seeing the NBA really well on that play, man. Scoop that up. Link in the description, 15 bucks. But also, don't be afraid of those long-term packages, man. Three-day, seven-day, 30-day, seasonal, yearly. I got it all over there at Pig Dogs Premium. So just go over there, check it out, see what's right for you. Also, follow me on Twitter, Free Parlay. Um, any late injury news that you need to know about. And if my mind changes due to late information coming out of the association, that's where I can update y'all on all that great stuff on Twitter. Follow me there. Um, let's make some money tonight. It's been your boy Jay Briggs. Talk to y'all tomorrow. Talk to y'all in the comments. Talk to y'all on Twitter. I'm out.